these are piaskali stems so this what you see here these are the buds the kali as we call it we normally refer to the entire thing as kali but actually the kali is this so this is something we don't eat we have to just chop this off and we have to chop off the end as well yeah yeah a little bit of the end can be chopped off and what is left is in the middle so that can be chopped to about 1 inch sizes one thing i would like to mention is when the buds open up or when the flower blooms then this can become fibrous a little bit fibrous it doesn't matter sometimes but there's a possibility of this getting fibrous now this is the best time to eat none of the flowers have bloomed or, or the buds have opened up so this will be the best i'm sure it won't be fibrous when you bite into it so let's get going we'll start the cooking now i'll show you the other ingredients i'll be using frozen prawns this one I am not recommending this brand as such. I bought this because this was what was available at the supermarket. You could use any brand you wish or you could use fresh prawns. I have smeared these prawns with salt and turmeric powder. Now these are ready to be fried. So these are all the ingredients I'll be using. I have here piaskali stems cut to roughly 1 inch sizes. They have been washed. Potato pieces not essential to this dish. You can do without it if you choose to. A tomato, a small piece of ginger, turmeric, Kashmiri red chili powder. You may also use the regular red chili powder if you want to. Coriander and cumin seed powder mixed. The proportion is 1 part of cumin seed powder mixed with 2 parts of coriander powder. Cumin seeds, little more than a pinch, and prawns which you saw me frying. Pour some oil into a pan and heat. Add jeera that is cumin seeds. add potato pieces now add the pieces of piaz kali stems cover and cook for some time keep stirring well intermittently cover and cook notice the change in color of the piaz kali stem pieces keep stirring well and cover and cook you have to do this intermittently add salt to taste add tomato pieces mix well
cover and leave it to cook for some time till they are soft. Stir well. Add ginger paste, add turmeric powder, also add the other masalas. Mix well. It has become a bit dry, so let me add some water. Cover and let it cook for some time. Now add the prawns. Stir well. You will have to keep doing this repeatedly. Stir well. You need to do this a few times till it is properly cooked. Let me now taste and see if it is done. Yeah, it is done and ready to be served.